Hello and welcome to another day at Rockstar UK. So today we're going to continue with the auto finesse build. Um, we're going to start putting the plastics on, some of the, the other tricky little bits, so such as the front brake, the front wheel, the like finish the handlebar setup off, put the exhaust on, um, just basically make it into like a rolling bike. Um, so let's get cracking. So as you can see, some progress has been made. We've got this beautiful hot lap exhaust. It's on there. Um, so I've got a little bit of an issue here with the uh, axles touching the back of the the hub plate that would sit here. Um, so I'll, I'll get that sorted. Uh, we've got those on. We have put the front panel on with the the box with some awesome. Workshop hardware coming around to the front. I'll see this panel still open, but we've got levers, grips, and all of that stuff on at the moment. Um, we running a Honda Grom front fender because of the tire size. It was not going to allow the like the standard one to fit. So got that on looks absolutely incredible Adeline brakes got the bottom panel on as well we we'll trim that so that the um, kickstand can work um, trimmed it on this side so that it can sit up nicely just before the frame um, there is a panel that sits over this anyway that sort of flows from here back so it gives you know it covers this up anyway um, so yeah now I'm on to this mountain of sort of mess it's not a mess it's uh so this is the an opened version of the TRS um, ATR harness I'm opening it up because I'm getting rid of stuff like um, the auto choke function which I don't need in here I've got rid of the um, the uh, fuel pump um, what do you want to call it wiring also I got rid of all of this bunch which is for the um, fuel sending unit which we don't need um, because we're going to be running the COSO which basically has its own sort of power ground and send so we'll run that in a bit so I'm just going through and basically taking everything out redoing all the connections um, the ones that I know could possibly be a weak point and most of this is going to get chopped out because it's the harness is literally going to be sort of like that short with some runs that go up to the up to the top so uh Let's keep cracking on. So, excuse the hair. Um, it's been a, about four days since the last video. No, actually five days since the last video. And she's finished. Um, I had to pretty much stop recording because I was so pushed to get this done. I've been coming home from work at like four o'clock and jumping straight onto this until like 11 o'clock at night. Um, I'm exhausted, that's uh, to, to put it lightly. Um, so, let's take you around the finished bike. So, here is the Metropolitan or Met Rock. Um, we've gone for the solid wheels because originally it was supposed to match the uh, Chevy truck of Auto Finesse's. Um, we've got the TRS wheels, hot lap exhaust the TRS stretch kit billet mount seat um, auto finesse have had this trimmed in this beautiful 
leather um not my personal color choice but this is to match their um v2 caddy as they call it which is their um vw caddy it's got these nice little button pops in but the stitching and the pin work is incredible very nice seat um so running coso gauge adlin brake levers um trs mini switch billet um grips billet bars uh felix uh, my guys light eyebrow honda grom front fender which i think really works on this setup because you've got the aluminium passing through and it just looks just brings it all together obviously as you know the big big brake kit um we've got all the plastics on and the basket they've refurbed this for me and managed to keep the original sticker got the side trims on then we've got the rear sets uh, i cut this off of a honda zuma kick kickboard um, it doesn't quite make all the way down which is actually perfect for what i want because i need a bit of air in here to help cool some of the like the rectifier and that down um pinch the filter off of my bike because the one that i bought for this bike didn't fit because of how close it is to this bar so put my filter on put the filter onto my bike and then we've got the trs transmission kit with the ankle biter all the wiring is super tucked really and uh, any serviceable bits i've put so that it's easily reached um billet um license plate mount as you can see look how much bigger our license plates are but got the rear disc brake so there she sits it's a beautiful beautiful paint job done by old bones fabrication really uh really happy with what they've done they've been a massive help um let me see if i've got the keys and we'll get it running there you have it she's running now got the little trs led light all right i hope you enjoy the bike